G'day guys, Butcher Benny T here uh, with another quick video for you. Um, I'm going to do a lamb here. Um, I've, I've, I've just dressed him out, but I'm going to put him on the spit, um, on the rotisserie spit. So I'm just going to show you how I go about um, hanging him so these sets. Uh, it's important to do it now because once they're set, they're a bit hard to move and manipulate in the position on the rotisserie. So um, I'll just show you how I go about it. Um, First up bro, you'll notice on this lamb I haven't split the brisket. You don't want to split the brisket on them um, when you're putting them on the spit because it just breaks away and the meat will start falling off. So you don't want to open him up too much. Obviously we've had to gut him, but that's about as far as it goes. So um, I'll, I'll get a start. First up, piece of string like that. We'll hook that on his front legs and around his neck. So I'll jump around this side. So hook it on one leg, bit of a loop, back onto itself, put it on the other shank, like that, and you just want to spin him around and hook his neck under him like that. There he is, you can see that. You want it to, you want him to, um, be nice and round, get him as round as you can for when he's spinning on the rotisserie. Next up, we want to tuck his back legs in. You've probably seen them, you can leave the legs out. Um, this one I'm going to tuck in just so he's more compact and he fits on the rotisserie well. So just get a bigger hook. I've got this one here, which is a beef hook. Up through his pelvis. Take that out. Let that hang. You can see he's already fallen down. If, if he had a set cold, those legs would just stay up because of rigor mortis and obviously he's just he's set. So that's why you've got to do this while he's warm. Then I'll grab the string. I've got a bucket just with my um, butcher's twine in it. I'll double it up. That's a bit stronger. For a start, I'll bring his back legs back into the hook. Doesn't really matter how you tie this, just as long as it holds. Um, you can do any sort of knot, but I'll just tie this one off just so he holds there for now because once he goes on, that st this string will come off. This is mainly just to set him. Tie it on there. Then what I'll do, you've probably seen on some of my other videos, the butcher's knot I use. So I'll double the string up again, make sure I've got enough to go around. I'll go around him. Even, I'll probably put a little nick just in his knee joint, there and there. That way the string will sit in there and won't slide off. So around him there. Like that. Another little knot, stop it slipping. Like that. And you can just keep pulling that tight. You want, him to, want those legs to come right in and stay there. Like that. Loop it off to stop it slipping. And there he is. You can see that. Once that goes on, it's all pretty compact. He'll go on the rotisserie and he'll be a nice shape spinning around. Um, I'll just show you one I did a little while ago. Um, spin it on the rotisserie and then I'll come back to you. Rightio, so as you can see by that little clip, um, there's a little bit more work to do to get him spinning, but um, if you've got the spit and you get him set up like that, you're halfway there. Um, then it's just a matter of putting him on and watching him cook anyway guys thanks for watching again um, nice little quick one for you hopefully it's helped um, like share subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time cheers